I do look forward to Mother's Day and I don't particularly get spoiled on Mother's Day, but my trick is to make it last for a whole week, maybe a couple of weeks, month possibly. And um, it is quite good. My daughter is an excellent spoiler. She really, really is good. She knows what I like and she knows how to pamper me. And the most important thing is she knows how to text her brothers because they're not so hot on the date. And actually the one in Moscow is absolved because if they have Mother's Day in Russia, it's probably not on quite the same day because they have a different um, religious calendar in Russia. Um, so he's sort of let off Mother's Day. And if he does remember, she does Facebook him or something and he rings me up, that's very, very nice. But she's very good at telling my middle son that it's Mother's Day. And my middle son is excellent at getting presents. He's, um, he's an interesting chap in many ways, but he does really have the present thing down to a fine art. And he does always get me something quirky and original and something no one else would have thought of. And my husband always says, well, you're not my mother, which is true. I'm not his mother, thank goodness. I think though sometimes he probably wishes I was, um, I'm not. So he's not the great pamperer, he's not the best at pampering. But the children are excellent. Although quite often Mother's Day means having Sunday lunch at my house with us cooking. But that's okay, because as long as we're together, it doesn't really matter.